Okay. Hi guys. Hey. Welcome back to my channel. So today is New Year's Day. I'm spending it with family. We have the cameraman behind. I'm kind of late, as you guys can see. Mm-hmm. As you can hear the noise, but if you don't, we'll still take you outside because everybody's buying. But um, overall, I want to say Happy New Year, guys. Thank you so much for watching Vlogmas, even though I'm back in Feb or Feb, yeah. Even though today is New Year, but I'll be back on YouTube in Feb, so we're basically watching this in Feb. Um, but yeah, cheers to a new year, cheers to a new start, cheers to 2022. Hope you guys entered the year safely, nicely, gum non z really gum non z you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's nice drinks or you're on a spool, but whatever it is that you were doing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. I hope that you guys were having a jaw. Um, but yeah, overall, thank you guys so much for watching and meet my family today, starting with the person behind the camera. So you have to introduce yourself, Mr. Okay, Hello guys, it's your boy Level Hang. Welcome to another vlog. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be spending time with our family since it's New Year's Day, and hopefully you guys will enjoy, and hopefully make the Mabun Kentai. Channel grow. Tell the yeah, the channel grow. Please subscribe, like, and comment down below. Yes, yes. And yeah, sure. do all those good stuff, and let's yeah, let's make, let's build each other up, man. You know, in the new year, you know. But yeah. Period. Look at her. Look at her. So tall. What the hell? Ah, I look cute. It's edgy. Yo. Just need to shire a uh, mascara. The edges are late. Earrings. As for me, I believe that she'll have some spicy things, but I hate waiting. Like patient. I don't have patience, man. I don't have patience. Hey. Yeah. So, hopefully it'll be good content. It always is, child. It always is. One, she's keeping it 100, guys. It's facts. Yeah, yeah. It's facts. Yeah, yeah. Period. Purr. Purr. And purr. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we out. Hello, girl. So, did you and Ninja get girl? When are you here? Uh, English is not your Yes. Welcome to Mabuta Channel. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Mabuta Channel. Photo photo. <laughs> Sing your mom, man. Lino, young come. Young come. For answer, Tyro was more any piano. Guys, I'm the bartender for Abandu, let me open this for my own. Abandu, I said block you. I said block We have right here, we have rolls over there just in case there's additional people that come over.
Instagram hot now. Okay, next, next. I'm helping them pay their Next, next. It's in my So the first box we actually have this book by Ryan Holiday which is called The Obstacle is the Way as I've been telling you guys that I want to read this year. I want to read self-improvement books so this is going to be my first read of the year and then yeah we'll see how that goes. In here this is the second box. In here we have okay let me just start with this so I ordered oh this tripod is smaller than I thought oh my god okay the box is a bit squashed somehow but anyways I ordered this mini tripod let me just see how this looks actually The remaining stuff in the box of skincare products. So the first thing that I've purchased skincare related is this niacinamide brightening vitamin C primer serum by Dr. Rochelle. I saw this that it works especially before you apply makeup like it says. It moisturizes the skin, prepares it for makeup and gives you a bright glow. So this is how it looks like in the box inside. So the thing that I've got is this eye serum because I'm a girl with eye bags this is also from dr rochelle it's the vitamin c brightening so this is the dr rochelle vitamin c um it is the brightening and anti-aging eye serum so yeah oh i'm glad that this also has collagen great i also <laughs> i also got this dr rochelle vitamin c face room what i bought and those are the benefits right there i got these three for my skincare because i did say that i want to work on my skin not that i have cerebral skin or anything like that but i just feel like i needed additional skincare products is um hi guys it's a different day um i'm currently editing as you can see in the background i'm editing this video that you're watching right now and i have filmed the chit chat part twice this is the third time i'm doing this and i this is actually the chit chat part of this vlog and I want to share with you guys the things that I want for myself this year and I think most of the things that I want for myself this year have to do with the channel as well together with what you can expect moving forward so um okay so first things first that I want to talk to you guys is that this year I genuinely have a theme for myself I never have a theme for any other year like Jay, I just wing it okay not really wing it but like you know i just really go all in having no sense of expectation but like when this year started i feel like you can just really feel a year or how a year is going to go by the way it starts like i don't know if i can tell last year really started correctly so i could tell that ugh, a lot of shit is coming my way which it did not that like i'm speaking in a sense of manifestation but last year was just such a terrible year for me oh anyways now this year i feel like this year has really started and i really feel so calm even though like last year late last year going on to this year i've always felt like i'm not ready for this year to start because of the just that anxiety of uncertainty you know like i just get so anxious which is mad but like i've really told myself that i'm just gonna wing everything as it comes so yeah i'm just not gonna have like a sense of expectation on how i 
want the year to go like detailed although i do i have said like stuff for myself which i'm gonna share right now with you guys that i really would love to accomplish but obviously like if it is in my control then why not if it's not then i'm obviously going to pray about it work hard towards it and just really see if like god's will aligns with mine but i don't want to get into details with that i just really want to get straight to the point because i'm running out of time and, um so basically this year this year i really set a theme for myself and i feel like i've already said that last year like late last year going on to this year i've already told myself that i want this year to be about myself i want this year to be about having fun and it being about self i just really want this year to be relaxation i don't want to pressurize myself too much or bombard myself with like a lot you know like as much as i have in the past years i really don't want to feel that pressure of life not that i won't i mean the pressure of life is always going to be there but i just don't want to bombard myself unnecessarily you know i need to just listen to my thoughts for me to plan for me to just really you know have a proper mindset so anyways um that's that so those are my themes for the year first thing that i want to do is i want to take a social media hiatus i'm going on a social media break starting feb yeah so feb i'm not going to be active on instagram and on twitter i will however be active on youtube because i really want to grow this channel and i want to be so consistent i want to give this channel my all this year like i really want to push you know i want to push i want to push videos i want to push content i'm also creating new segments on the channel which i'll talk about as i progress with this chat so this year i won't be active on social media i will be active on youtube and i'm also thinking of starting a tiktok page but my tiktok page is not going to be like your usual tiktok page i think it's more going to be on the hospitality side of things but i don't know if like maybe people would want to see that i'm not sure but that's what i've always wanted to do like since last year i want to make reels on tiktok showing you guys like airbnbs in, in Joburg or pretoria if i do end up in pretoria but yeah, just cute airbnbs that you can go to like for weekend where you just to reset reboot or whatever so yeah that's what i'm thinking of doing on tiktok and showing you guys different restaurants that i'll be trying out this year so that's what i want my tiktok page to mainly focus on just those personality side of things just airbnbs um cute activities that i get up to um restaurants to try out just enjoy that cute stuff you know just that so i'm still thinking about that that's what i want to do yeah i'm thinking of giving that a try but we'll see yeah so i think that's what i'm going to upload on my tiktok and then i'm obviously going to be consistent here on youtube so if there's anything or a video a certain video that requires me to post not that i have like any sponsored content going on or anything like that but i feel like sometimes you just want to have a particular post on your instagram that leads people to a certain video on your youtube channel or something like that then i'm going to have to post that when i return on youtube which is probably like year end or something like that yeah so towards year the end of the year yeah and yeah around those lines it's like whenever i return so yeah i'm just not going to post anything related to that now i'll push that content for nj later if i need to so the second thing that i want to embark on is a weight loss journey december during the festive season guys i went to go visit my i was at my grandparents place visiting my granddad and my family I gained weight guys like i gained weight and i understand why i gained weight there because everything is just so easily accessible like if i need a quota i know like i can go to the next streets if i need whatever it is that i need like everything is just so close by i know so i gained a lot of weight this festive season i ate a lot i chowed i enjoyed life like i just ate and i i feel like you would have also seen during the first part of this video um because i spent new year with family as you would have seen on the first part of the video i think that was amazing i ate quite a lot guys like i chowed i ate like kiji i ate the gym as i was in like i really went in and now i'm freshy there's really nothing wrong with like gaining weight or anything like that it's just that like for me i just like being at my usual weight you know like just like being my usual self and feeling like my usual self and just you know so this year i truly want to embark on a weight loss journey right now i'm currently 71 kgs which is mad but i understand man because like the more i grow the thicker i get so um this year i want to embark on a weight loss journey so yeah i want to i want by the end of this year i want to 
weigh 65 kg that is my target i don't want to go below that like so we'll show you guys how i lose weight we'll try different styles you know just go on different diets we'll try losing weight the fast way i don't think there is losing weight the fast way actually i think it's like obviously implementing a routine and then you know yeah you get what i'm saying so but anyways we'll give it a try we'll just try out different diets how to lose weight in any show you guys what i do i also do home workouts so don't expect to see the gym yeah i don't go to the gym everything that i do is always a home workout so you can expect to see that so that's obviously going to be my new segment on the channel as well losing weight with you guys if you want to lose weight with me then we can embark on this journey together but yeah um i'm just really going to show you guys like exercises that i do without a diet what i do with the diet like you you'll just see as we go okay so yeah i'm just really planning on implementing that so you definitely are going to see that as well as hair so beginning of this video i mean beginning of the channel whatever the main reason for me to start the channel is because i had natural hair of course and i was going to show you guys how to treat your hair because i do my hair like i i braid my hair I maintain my hair anything that is hair related i take care of my own hair and i feel like that's why my hair grows so quickly i mean obviously genetics do play a role but i mean even now i look cute because i just braided my hair and you're gonna see a tutorial quite soon but not really a tutorial but just like i don't know just praying around with hair and just braiding together for the first time i tried these butterfly jumbo locks for the very first time and you guys are gonna see that quite soon so yeah it's just all these things jay like seeing me how to maintain my hair giving you guys tips on how to have healthy hair products hair products that i definitely recommend in order for you to have good healthy hair how to grow your hair whatever blah, blah, blah. anything hair related is definitely coming back because i'm also currently transitioning my hair i feel like my hair is quite thicker when it's in it's when it's in its natural state when i relax my hair guys my hair was so thin and it was falling out quite a lot during wash days it was a nightmare um yeah so i feel like those are the two new main segments that i'm going to have the weight loss together with together with the hair so those are two new segments that you can expect what else uh, do we have this year i said i want to focus on my self-improvement and together with my self-development like i just really want to read a lot like i haven't read in forever guys and i used to love reading as a child like i used to love reading when i was in primary i think i used to be the biggest bookworm ever i used to read a lot it was crazy i used to read a lot i used to go to china's Burke city library to get books every weekend now when i got to high school in jay that's when things took a massive return but anyways i don't want to talk about that now i actually want to start reading more because my english has been flying out the window lately like <laughs> yeah i actually got a book so I was doing my research trying to find like authors that are great when it comes to books. So the books that I'm honestly going to get and share reviews with you guys on are books that I would regard as timeless books. I haven't read them or read like any summary on them but I like I, 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 I don't have any sense of expectation on what I'm going to read but I also want to read books that resonate with me in this particular phase. Cannot really. I, I, I want like books that will always resonate with me because last year i had a tough year okay i was facing obstacles obstacles were being thrown at me like nobody's business guys like <sighs> i can't last year was a crappy year for me and i was going through obstacles over obstacles over obstacles challenges over challenges over challenges i was just going through a lot okay like i really wasn't in a great space of mind yo i really wasn't j i i I want to start reading books that will resonate with me okay like books that i can still read when i'm older books that i can still read in two years time three years time four years time even ten years time and i'd still like i don't know like the more i read it the more it makes sense like i really want timeless books and not like frictional love books or i don't mind reading those i think i really love like romantic frictional books but that's not what i want now you know i really want books like spirit building books i really want books that will help me grow as a person and change my perception in how i view things or how i welcome things or just really see a different change in things because yeah that's what i want so i have ordered a book okay well i've received it already you would have seen it obviously you would have seen the book that i have um purchased on take a lot which is this one that i need to start as soon as possible because yeah i need to start this book today so yes the obstacle is the way period by ryan holiday so this guy's books all have a 5.5 rating so i had to start with this one i wanted to start with the ego is what what i don't know the ego yen zen 
that brand but then i saw this one and i was like you know based on what i went through last year it's best for me to start this beginning of the year actually just in case like i experience any things and i know how to tackle things as i move forward or have a change in mindset or like yeah have a change in percept and have a change in my perception on how to tackle things so that's the good part i want to work on my skincare as you would have seen during the unboxing that i got new skincare products and yeah we're just trying to be flames this year i'll also give you guys a review on that just in case you're interested i know no one's going to be interested but i'll i'll do it when when i see a difference in my skin definitely going to be trying out different restaurants as well this year like last year i really was social as you would have seen on my channel but like this year i think i really want to try like different stuff i love food so yeah i'm just going to be showing you guys different restaurants here as well um different places that you can check out in johannesburg places that you can have fun just nice activities that you can do and just really get up to nothing like extravagant or anything that has to do with clubbing because i really feel like that's such a war now so i'm also going to be showing you guys different airbnbs because i'm also going on a staycation tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow but you will obviously see it as vlogs continue so that's what i also want to sort out right now just in case like you don't want to go far for vacation nothing too serious you know just i don't know something like just having a weekend away to yourself just recouping and still having fun so yeah um i'm just really going to be showing you guys all these things in jay that i get up to and yeah all these fun stuff like like i said we're just really going to have fun because i really feel like we are part of that movie old that was released last year i think if you haven't watched it give it a try especially since this pandemic started i feel like time is just not moving and yet we're growing so quickly another thing that i actually want to try is just to, um another thing that i want to try is to change uh, my mindset i want to do a positive slash happy jar guys i could literally have a date and my day could go fine that one negative thing that one small bad thing that happens just changes my day like that's why I'm just really saying that I just really no longer want to give that side of me too much power. I want to just enjoy, chill, relax and just really give my time, myself some time because I always feel like um, my life is always so stressful <laughs> and I really don't want that for myself anymore. But yeah, you know, like I just really want to have a positive slash a happy jar. So if you don't know what that is, it means that you have a jar, right? And any good thing that happens in the year, you write it down and you place that piece of paper inside that jar for the entire year and you look at it, that jar at the end of this year to actually reflect on the good things that happened to you this year or positive things great things you know yeah so you just put that in the jar and then you look at it that jar at the end of this year or beginning of next year so that's one thing i also want to give a try because i have been having a tough time hey like i've just really been having a tough time like installing that happiness because like i was sitting and thinking when last was i genuinely happy and i don't recall and i'm not speaking about like one day happiness on j happiness that lasted a week i'm talking about like being genuinely happy and i don't recall like i honestly don't recall so like i just really feel like it's just those things that just really change things in me you know like because also i was reading this quote that said you decide how your day is going to go so I need to decide when i wake up i need to decide that today i'm going to have a good day and i'm not going to let anything get to me as much as it should also i really feel like in order for you to feel happy you need to obviously change your mindset because everything starts with the mind once you make the mind believe that the mind is obviously going to believe that so obviously having that change a bit is going to help me to just really not let the negative have so much power over me because i really don't want that i truly serve a living god and i know like there's a lot of things that god has done for me Yo, a lot bro like a lot lot there's a lot you know and it's just really nice man like like just knowing that someone is truly there for you and like someone's really got your back heavily yeah so basically that's all i want i just genuinely want a positive year plus i will have more time on my hands this year compared to any other year so that's one thing i'm also quite happy about so that i can actually stick to my words and just really be the woman of my word like i always am and be consistent in posting videos continuously so yeah um that's just basically it i'm also going to be uploading videos every single monday every single monday from beginning of feb till the very end of the year 
I'm going to be posting videos every single Monday and I'm going to try by all means to stick to my word and create videos to put out so i hope that you obviously do enjoy this content i hope you guys have a wonderful blessed year ahead of you i hope you have already done your your what is it vision boards yeah i hope you've already done your vision boards as well as journaled i script and like anything that really works for you in terms of manifestation i'm a person who scripts i know that like i'm probably gonna do an updated video on that because 2020 my videos got deleted but yeah i just hope that you guys truly have a blessed year and you have a wonderful wonderful year ahead filled with a lot of great news great opportunities blessings and abundance higher frequency that you radiate a lot and yeah um cheers to a good year that's all i can say cheers to a phenomenal year so yeah that's basically it thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your post notification Turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload from me. And obviously, when that button's still red, while you're still doing the like, mm -hmm. subscribe already. Subscribe already. So, anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys next week, Monday, with another video. And that's a wrap from May. <laughs> I talk a lot. Wow. So.